My name is Andrew McGovern, and I'd like to take 10 minutes of your time to cover 10 features of Erwin DM NoSQL. Erwin DM NoSQL is Erwin Inc.'s latest offering. It is a SaaS based solution that can help you with reverse engineering your MongoDB environments and also transform your current Erwin data models into MongoDB format generate the appropriate JSON documents. So this is what we're going to cover. If I took the time to read through all this, we'd be eating into our precious time. So let's take a look at Erwin DM NoSQL. As I mentioned, this is a SaaS-based solution. So once you have your license, you're going to be directed to a page where your information is going to reside, and then you can log in and access your tools. This is the second, as you can see, the second of our SaaS-based solutions. And this is what the workspace is going to look like. It's a very simple interface. I can search for models. I can filter by my different model types. I can assign tags so that I can tie models together if there's a commonality there. I can also sort by newest or oldest. I can set up my configurations and connections to my MongoDB environment. I have my notifications and then my administrative functionality right here. So let's start off by importing an Erwin data model. And we're going to bring this in very quickly. And once that import is complete, we're going to get a notification in the notification tab that this is complete, and then we'll be able to look at the model. Now, once we have this in place, we're going to be able to transform that into MongoDB. And then once we do that, we are also going to be able to work with those Mongo models and come up with the best solution or the best uh, implementation based on speed or whatever your other requirements are. And once I have a model in place, my Erwin models are blue. My MongoDB models are going to be in green, as you will see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform this into MongoDB. I have three options when I run my transformation. I can run it a normalized transformation. I could do a denormalized transformation, or I could do a custom transformation. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be able to provide you with some guidelines for a query-based enhanced access to MongoDB, because we want to get that dialed in specifically. So what we've done is we've analyzed this model, and we can see that there are a number of um, arrays that may need or could be included with other collections. In this case, we're just going to bring a few of these in just to show you how all this will come together. Down here, I'm going to embed this, the new product table, into the training course product table. And we're going to make that transformation. And once I have a MongoDB model available to me, I can't make any changes to it. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because we're just going to have some basic versioning in place so that we'll have our primary model, our original model, and then we can clone this and make changes to it. So if I want to make changes to this, I'm just basically going to clone it, and then I can open up the particular model, and then I can start working on it. Now, once I'm looking at my Mongo model, I have several options here. I can show all of the specific collections and their associated uh, arrays. And then I can also provide documentation or modify the type, the data types that I'm looking at here. So in this case, credit card is set as a definition, but I can add any other attributes to this. Now, the documentation that you see here is only going to be visible inside of this uh, MongoDB NoSQL. As you would expect, there's no relationships or foreign keys that are available in MongoDB. But what this will help you do is get a handle on what's there, and then you can use this as a referential document. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to transform these out into the different other different formats. So I'm going to build a normalized transformation, and I'm simply going to do a denormalized transformation. And then all of these will come in here, and then all the filtering uh, will be a little bit more necessary at that point. So here is our original MongoDB model. You can see that it has been transformed into a denormalized format, a normalized format, and a, a customized format here. Come in here, if I look at my normalized view, I can see everything in here. And as you can see, since this model has not been cloned, this is read-only, not editable. If I wanted to make any changes to this, I would clone it. And then once I've determined that this is the right fit for, for me, or at least I want to move this forward so that I can test it, I can simply export whichever model it is. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring down all of the JSON documents along with any of the relevant information to get this pushed into my Mongo and DB environment. So uh, in the interest of time, 
I've exported this and it's going to be going to my email and I'll grab that and I can have an email notification throughout this process without relying on the notification bar up above. And then what I'm going to have, and I set this up previously, I'm going to have the uh, script files that I need to get this loaded into MongoDB. It's going to use the Mongo import utility to bring it into place and it's going to tie directly in with the Mongo import functionality. You can put your specific credentials in here so that you can connect and then you're going to bring your JSON documents directly in here. And your documents are going to live right here. We can take a look at that also. So what we've seen so far is the ability to take an Erwin data model, transform it, import it into the DM NoSQL, transform it into MongoDB in either a normalized, deem normalized, or custom format, and then I can export JSON documents that I'm going to bring into my MongoDB environment. And I can help this with my transformations. I can help this with documentation. And then finally, what I can also do is reverse engineer from a Mongo environment. So I can come in here. In this case, I'm going to be going to Mongo Online Database. I'm going to select all of my collections because it's a demonstration. Now I have my MongoDB collections that have been reverse engineered from the cloud. I can come in here and I can look at all of my collections at this point. I can pull these off. I can make my annotations. I can document this. I can get information about what all this means and I can continue to uh, work with this. Again, on this particular model, I haven't cloned it so I can't make any changes. That's our basic versioning. So you always have the original available to you before it's cloned off and, and modified. So with that, that's about 10 minutes of your time, and I really appreciate you joining me. If you're interested in looking at MongoDB DM NoSQL in respect to Erwin, please get in touch with us. We'd be happy to show you a more specific demonstration relevant to your own environment. So thank you again for joining us. Have a great day.